They say whenever you would pay a fool, get all the stuff. For example, when I want to bake cake, I get my knife, my salt, my pepper, and everything red, palm oil, this cake. When you're going for an audition, you have to get everything ready, which means you have to prepare. Mm -hmm. So if that's something you really like, huh? come along on this channel and let's get to it. Grammatic. If it is your first time coming to this madness gang, please hit the subscribe button below and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't forget any of my videos when I upload them. Okay, you're totally terrible. Totally, so terrible. And if you're coming for the second, third, fourth, no matter how many times you've been coming back to these videos, <laughs> I love you. I know some of you watch it more than one. I know. I know. It's just crazy. So crazy. So today, we're going to talk about how to prepare for an occasion. Remember in the last video, if you've not watched that video, please pause this one and go back because if not, you'll not understand anything I'm saying here. Okay, I'm just saying. The last video I talked about how you get movie roles. I talked about auditions. So the types of auditions. So now we're going to talk about how you actually prepare for those auditions. If it's something you're interested in, come along and let's go. And if it's something you're not interested in, move along to the next video. Of course, on my channel still. I have so many videos. I'm a certified nurse, doctor, a musician, actress, YouTuber, Everything I do with them, I'm still adding the list and not forgetting my groundbreaking video on how to boil water. It's amazing. So amazing. You wouldn't believe the millions of views it has. I'm just saying. The first thing you have to do when you're preparing for an audition is this. You have to do your research. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and what are you researching? You have to research who is producing that movie. What are their previous productions? Is it their first time they're producing? With that background knowledge, you get to know who they are, the type of movies they do, so that you know even if you're interested in such movies as well, because going for an audition is not just about the person looking for a character. It is also about you looking for a role. Are you interested in that role? Because not every role that comes your way that you're going to take. Okay. And so you have to do your investigation. You do do your research. Do you know what, what do they do? How are their products? Are you interested in them? If not, you lay back because sometimes you have more than one auditions to attend. I'm telling you, I've attended three on one day. I almost died on bikes. So you have to do your research. Excuse me. So you have to do your research so you are sure you're interested in it. You know, if you are interested in it, you look at their previous work, the producer. And what type of work have they been doing? Are you interested in such work? Mm -hmm. The next thing you want to research is about the director. I had a video about directors. You don't mess around with those people because they don't forget. You have to research about them. If you had done some shit some time ago, you have to know that you have to go apologize before you go for this audition. I'm just say it back. But if not, you have to know their works. What are the previous movies they have directed? How were they? Are they is this something you're interested in? I do you like to work with this director. I'm just saying. But you have to be able to work with every director for the motor. The next thing you have to do is, is you have to familiarize yourself. What am I saying? You have to familiarize yourself with the lines in the script or the scenes given to you. Like I said in the previous video, when you're going for, for an audition, they usually send out a couple of lines for which you uh, a couple of scenes or they give out a full script depending on the type of audition, okay? When you have those, you have to familiarize yourself with the lines. You put yourself in the story, get yourself acquainted with it such that when you go for that audition, you know what you are coming for. It's quite unfortunate that in my side of the world, you don't see those. You just get up, they just put a poster, a call for audition. This, 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 Heaven and Earth uh, Fire Production is producing a movie uh, directed by Sayawa Kuku Kuku Asola and also by this, this, this. And at the end of the day, you don't see character descriptions, you don't see lines. In that case, you just jake yourself and go there. Any two way happen, man, sharp. Uh, I'm just saying. But in the case where you get those lines, you have to familiarize yourself with them. And if you don't get them, that is when the previous step of researching on the director and the producer come in play. Because when you research on them, you know the type of things they do. 
you can align yourself towards them. Aligning, that's something we'll talk about someday. The next thing you have to do is that you rehearse. After familiarizing yourself with the script, getting acquainted with everything, rehearse. Stand in front of a mirror, make yourself look as stupid as you can. If you need to look bougie, make yourself look bougie as you can. And if you have to be crazy, be as crazy as you can in front of the mirror, in front of your friends. Let them look at it. Oh, and Nappy, that thing you're doing there, don't do it. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Don't smile like that. That's not your smile. You're faking that smile. No, that's not your accent. Because some of us go for auditions. You come talking normal. And that's a end. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you, man. What is your name? My name is Nappy Nimo. Okay, this is this is happening to you. Action. People get into swing rapper mood. Hell, what are you talking about? I'm sorry now. When you do your facials, you record yourself even doing performing the, the, the scenes you have, you do it in front of friends, they will tell you such in windows so that you don't carry them to the audition ground and you get yourself sacked before you even get into the competition. Note. The next thing you have to do is that you should... <laughs> get that. The next thing you should get ready for is get ready to prepare and master the script as fast as possible. Master lines, script as fast as possible. Grab theories as fast as possible. Because especially in the case, uh, in my side of the world, your side is there, I know. My side. Where you don't see like, the scenes you're going to audition for, you don't see the character description you're going to audition for before time. In that situation where you get there, they give you those script, they give you a script, they expect you to do as fast as possible and you come audition. You don't come and take two scenes and you take the whole day rehearsing. I see some people sit at audition grounds, they are kabashing up and down. Don't do that. It's just weird. So you have to be, make sure that you can familiarize yourself with line scripts as fast as possible. The next thing you have to do is that you should inspire yourself. Inspire yourself. Listen, when you're going for an audition, there are things that you should know that uh, you must do. For me, for example, I play a little bit of Enya and I go all classical on myself. If I play a little bit of Backstreet Boys, Westlife, Celine Dion, I go all romantic. Uh -huh, I'm saying. If I play a little bit of Joe V, hey, I'm going gangster. Like, hey. Hmm. You see this thing that my mom? I didn't use some of the tuna color nuts. Mm -hmm. Inspire yourself such that if you see the, the, the script, if it's given to you, if, a, if a, a, a scene for an audition is given to you, which is uh, supposed to be, you're supposed to be gangster. And you feel like music moves your edges, music moves you to that place. Take that song that can put you to that place. Listen to it. And it's the same thing while you're home. If it is a classical thing, you have to be elegant. Listen to that music that makes you feel elegant makes you walk elegant, makes you talk elegant. If you're supposed to be gangster, if you have to listen to Tupac, if you have to listen <laughs> to Joe B, if you have to listen to, hey, Stanley Anna, my yama yama yama, King Kong, listen to them so that you get inspired. I'm just saying. And if you have to go, oh, advice, the advice, mm. listen to Mr. Leo, <laughs> the lion. Yes. So always do that. Move to music. Get it, let it inspire you. Get whatever gets you in that mood. Another thing you should do is break a sweat. Listen, acting is not for lazy people. Some people feel it's such a lazy profession. From the time you, you decide you want to become an actor to the day you stop being an actor, you are always working. You will exercise. You will do some things. Facial exercise that will make you to get physically fit. I for one, I when I exercise, I get 
I get that mojo. I get that thing that keeps me pumping and pumping and vibing. Okay. Some people take coffee, but that or alcohol for that. Please don't do that. It's not good. And I'm advising on my channel. If you drink, drink responsibly. I don't want you to come in from. Okay. They are not taking my money because of you. Okay. So whatever. If you have to break a sweat, do some exercises to get you pumped up. To get your energy. Do it. It's important. That's why you're an actor. You have to work, work, work until you get yourself to that point. That's why you see some actors that stay on the same lane. Today you see, you see this actor is the same person. Tomorrow is the same person. Interpreting different roles, different characters the same way because they don't work. They don't break a sweat. You have to work. Even for that audition, no matter how tiny it is, if you're going to audition for a one scene role, please, do all of this. Do all of this. Make sure that you are ready for that one scene last. If it is the last scene you're going to do. I'm just saying. Ah! Take your time while you're home right now, okay? Wash your hands, sanitize, stay home, and drink a lot of herbs. I am talking from the African. I am talking from the African perspective. Africa has a lot of herbs. They do help. I'm telling you. I know how strong I am now. So good. so good and thank you for coming to the end of part two of this video uh-huh if you made it ah, oh, you're amazing please click on the like button if you liked all i said and if you don't like it please see subscribe in this channel so that you can go to the comment section and you say all the things that you hate about it okay and please subscribe you know the subscriptions are going to help me okay and thank you all those of you who have been subscribing like you're my g's my nappies my google bunnies Run. i love you Thank you.